Hey guys. Morning everyone. So today is the start of a new vlog series. We're currently at Manchester Airport as usual. Yeah, this is an exciting one. We are taking a flight over to Barbados and we're gonna join PO's Avia in a Caribbean cruise. I'm really excited. <laughs> yeah, so we're currently flying with a carrier called Malafero, who have been covered in controversy over the past weeks and months. Uh, we have got a separate video out now covering what our experience was like with Malif, so check it out if that's what you're curious about. But let's get to the ship. Just got off the plane now, here it is. And we are jumping on the buses, it's several small buses that take you to the ship directly from Barbados, which is great. Yeah, so it's 20 people at a time we were told, so it takes a little bit of time, but we're gonna get there soon. It wasn't this. <laughs> We're on the ship. Here we go. Big old grand atrium reveal. Hey, it's like the videos. <laughs> <laughs> I must have seen this on about 100 separate YouTube videos, man. Oh, wow. And also, it's beautiful. Though. Yes. Shout out, Mum and Dad. What's your first impressions? Very grand. It's just as it's just as impressively big as Symphony Yeah, I agree. Which is our only reference at the minute. Yeah. We're off to uh, we're off to the glass house to get our mustard on, and then we will go to the room. Right, we have just left our room. First things first, we're gonna go get some food. So we're gonna eat at the Keys um, for our first meal aboard Avia. Yeah, I was excited getting all checked in, seeing the cabin for the first time. We have done a cabin tour, so I will put the link up here and down below if it's if I've edited it yet. If not, it will be there eventually. Let's see what we can eat at the Keys. Uh, very exciting. It's all very exciting. We keep getting lost. We've not got our bearings yet, so we, everything looks the same at the minute. We're trapped in cabin land. Yeah, um, hopefully we can escape. So, this is the Keys. It's basically a food hall style idea. You've got hot line and vinegar, which is fish and chips. You've got fusion, which is kind of Asian style dishes, and then the roast, which is all things Yorkshire put in on Sunday dinner. Exciting. I want a bit of everything. These are each of the food venues in the Keys. So that was the fish and chips place. This is where you get the katsu curry. And a little further down is the roast. And hopefully we'll get some delicious roast and yacht pudding soon in the next few days. Okay, so I have gone for a chicken katsu curry from Fusion and Laura's gone hot line and vinegar for fish, chips and what curry sauce? Is that curry sauce? Curry sauce, yeah. It was served so quickly. So I thought it was a case of going up sort of it was all dished out, you go and take like a plate, but you just request it, they make it, give it you really quick, I like it. So as you can see, that went down a treat. We've eaten all that and we very much enjoyed the keys. Top quality food, the fish and chips especially, I would say it's probably the star of the show. The fish was really nice. Laura can probably tell you more about it. It was, I was surprised how hot it was. Like the chips stayed hot, like crazy hot. Proper, proper, proper chippy chips. Mm. And the batter was really light and crispy and it was light. Flaky fish, it was really good. Yeah, I recommend the fish and chips. It's time to go and find drinks. Let's go. Let's get use out of this drinks package. We're just past the extended seating of the keys. If you just turn down here, you'll see that there's also some little grab and go items that you can get. So there's some salady type things, but also some tasty looking desserts, especially this, which is the key lime pie and proper eye it up. So Dana's also gone for a dessert, this is the Scandinavian sticky chocolate and I did get the key lime pie because it just called to me. So we just wandered into the clubhouse, now I imagine this isn't fully open yet because there's no one here but I bet it gets absolutely rammed later on so I thought I'd just have a little look around, see what it's like while there's no one here. I really like the seating, I like how this looks, oh especially those very luxurious looking chairs I'm going over to now. You can also see just outside a bar. Oh a bar, yeah we've not had our first drink of the cruise yet. Let me just go to these chairs that I, I won't really want to sit on. Look at these, I can imagine us sat here later. Some good chairs. Yeah. I like the vibe, it looks, looks fancy. <laughs> 
and I like the blue. So we've just headed up to the Sunset Bar, so we cut through the clubhouse and we're just having a look at the cocktail menu. I'm thinking of trying the pina colada because I've heard very good things about PR's pina colada. I'm going to go for a Golden Tide Rum because it's PR's speciality rum on board here, so let's see what it's like. So this is the famous pina colada with Barbados in the background. And then this is Dane's Tidal Rum, which is exclusive to Pino and made on ship with a Coca-Cola. Do you want to... And this is me in a very relaxing seat overlooking the sea. Yeah, so this is the Sunset Bar at Sunset, eh? Eh? Eh, good timing? <laughs> Give us a shot. Yeah. First impression. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, I'd, I would try that. That's really okay. nice. Yeah. Here we go. First impressions. Icier than I expected. Oh, damn. It's all right. <laughs> it's not to my taste. It's fine. I'll probably get some else next time, but tried it. Woo! This is a view of the sea, obviously, and then this is like kind of a panoramic of the sunset bar. It is packed tonight, man. Uh, it's looking good. So we've just come into Brody's and we are both having a vanilla and salty caramel espresso martini, I think it was. Yes. Looks delicious. It looks really good. It's been quick service so far from everyone at Piano. I thought Royal Caribbean service was a bit more fun and personal, but it's a dead early day, so let's see what happens. Well, I for one thought my salty caramel and espresso martini was lovely. Laura's reasoning for getting an espresso martini was that she wants to stay awake, but she doesn't like coffee, so she's going to get an espresso martini, which she didn't like because it tastes like coffee. Who would have thought? Yeah. Go oh, figure. And we're just, to, to be honest, we're just waiting for the cases to come out, we so we can. I want to get ready. I don't feel myself yet because I feel all dishevelled. I'm the same. We just come off a nine-hour flight, a, an hour bus journey, and about 45 minutes being dramatic. But it was but, hot. <laughs> yeah. So we're just waiting for the cases to come out. We can. And then we'll show you around a bit more, probably. Yeah. So as we're in an inside cabin, I've just put this on, which is showing the, it said webcam I think, so basically what the ship sees. <laughs> so we've not set sail yet. We thought we'd miss sail away, but it looks like it's not happened yet. Also, this is a speaker and the captain's <laughs> captain did a message and it came through so loud. <laughs> Okay, so we've freshened up a little bit. We're gonna head out now. Uh, not entirely sure what we're gonna do first, but we're thinking a glass of wine. Yeah, I really wanna try Boom Boom from the glass house. <laughs> I guess I guess we're going there first. Let's go. So we have just got a seat at the glass house and we found out that the chair swivel and we didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, so we're liking it. So this is what the chair looks like. You know, well, if you, you don't know us, I like chairs. This is a good chair. I thought you were going to say, if you don't know what a chair looks like, you can video. I'm show you chair. So we're going to get Boom Boom from here, and we'll see if we like it, and we'll tell you. So on to the next place. Yeah. And the cycle continues. But we're liking it. So this is near the atrium at night. It's, it's looking good. There's some music playing in the background. It's good. So this is the Boom Boom description. Okay, so the large glasses of Boom Boom have arrived. We've got a couple of tap waters as well. If you're thinking this is a strange way to configure a table, it's because Laura's just spent the past five minutes trying to get the perfect Instagram shot. It had to have a glass out today. It did. Fair I'm 100% happy with it, but it'll do. Yeah, <laughs> that seems uh, to be my thing today. It'll do. Okay, so this is the Boom Boom. Brought to my attention by the cruise monkeys. So, let's see what all the fuss is about. I don't like dry wine. This is pretty dry. The water's gonna come in handy. I'm gonna now not take anyone else's recommendations and just pick my own stuff because it's been a fail. This is the way. <laughs> we are still in the glass house. We've decided to stick with wine for a little while. But we've gone to my old trusty, which is Jam Shed. Now you can't tell any difference. 
just by looking at this glass. But I can tell you, it's a beautiful wine. Also, we've just been sat, we were kind of sat on the, um, on the circumference of the atrium. Oh yeah, you might have noticed I, we've moved tables. Yeah, yeah. I basically, I spilled, I spilled my glass of wine before getting this one. And, um, it spilled, it went in between, like, the panes of glass. So it was actually on the, it was actually millimetres away from pouring over onto someone's table and deck beneath us. But the guy managed to catch it in the nick of time with a, like a, yeah, like a window squeeze and managed to pull it back in. But that would have just been mortified. So like, we ran away and came and hit and that was it. There we go. Getting in the chair. I put my wine down. We need no more spillages today. The skill. The hair's blending in with the seat. <laughs> <laughs> this flattering. Is it comfortable? What am I meant to do like? Yeah, something like that. Some, some, some influence, I suppose. There it is. There you go. <laughs> See, it's not easy. <laughs> no, it is comfy though. It is. Look at this. Step back a bit. Hey. <laughs> That's how you start off your army trip. Yeah. We, got, we found the giant deck chair. We weren't even looking for this. We were looking for the crow's nest. So it would seem we have wandered into the sky dome. I'm not quite sure what's happening. I don't know what this gold glowing blob is in the middle. Something else happening over here. The roof is currently closed. So we've decided to come and see what X is all about. And we will show you a couple of clips. My hair looks very blue, don't you think? Like extra blue. I wish it was always this colour. Thank you everyone. But we are in the crowd and the seats are all like sun lounges or sun chairs. So that's fun. A crow's nest out. I've got no idea where we're going. We keep well, it's not even in the lift, so there's bits where it says where you're going, and then the crow's nest isn't mentioned. We can see that it's like really far forward, so we're thinking it might be either one of them where you go up and to go down or down to go up. We're, we're, we're gonna try and find it and we'll see when we're there. Okay, so we're about to head for a nightcap in the crow's nest. It seems to be quite an intimate uh, piano session, so try not to keep it too uh, too loud. But I just want to say, it's so hard to find this place. Yes, what it is. Maze. It is a mystery. Um, it says this venue is evening casual, which means don't wear tracksuits, and you're pretty much good, and no shorts too. one thing because we booked the deluxe drinks package on our sea pass cars they do have these stickers on and it seems like other than the doubles and large glasses of wine there's not a lot of distinction between classic and deluxe on this ship but we came to the crow's nest and every single one of these drinks here is only available 
on the looks. So if you're looking for bang for your buck, or you like the crow's nest, consider the deluxe. <laughs> you can get all kinds of crazy things. So I've gone for the Passion Star Martini, which is the Palm Star Martini with the Prosecco shot. And Dane's gone for something a bit fancy. Go on, let's see. I've gone for a, uh, I've gone for a Japanese whiskey. It looks like a blended Japanese whiskey. We came into the Horizon Late Night Buffet. This is a little look at Dan's selection. A little look at mine, There's a little pie here. Chip potatoes, chili con carne. Nice little selection. Just perfect for a late night snack. Decent shootings on in the background as well. Okay, so we did actually do a sign off yesterday, but it was not very understandable or no, Just I think no. we got too tired, drinks gone to our heads, so we thought we'll end it again in the morning. I really enjoyed the show X, it's only half an hour, it's a bit crazy, it's a bit weird, but if you got half an hour spare, you've got nothing else planned, I'd recommend watching it. It's just a bit weird and unusual. Yeah, I, I agree with that. It's um, Yeah, I, I didn't really understand what was going on, but it was it was a show. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's all I'm going to say about it, to be honest. Uh, and then we went to the crow's nest, uh, which was lovely, quite intimate setting. There was a pianist on uh, playing like a few known favourites. Yeah, we really enjoyed it in there. I liked the layout and it just had a really nice atmosphere. It took us back to our fave off symphony, Schooner Bar, so good feels. So yeah, if you've liked the video, please do feel free to give us a big thumbs up. And do subscribe to the channel for our future videos as well. That's tuning in guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.